Welcome back. Hopefully by now you have created your house. You have a roof on it and two windows and a door and maybe even a window in the back. We are going to do one more project with our house and that is create some decorations on the house. This is going to help us practice some of the moves we have learned like aligning and rotating. Before we start I want to review some of the ways we have learned to move around in Tinkercad. Remember to look at your shape from all sides. You can either two finger click and hold and drag on your work plane. Remember the work plane is that blue area that looks like graphing paper. You can also click and drag on the cube in the upper left to get back to your home view you can click the home button and that will take you back where you started another interesting button that we haven't explored yet is this button right here that says fit all in view and that will give you a quick close-up of your object I'm going to actually rotate my object up a little so that I can see it straight on now, most houses have some kind of an address number on them. So, to practice working with our shapes and our numbers and aligning, we're going to put a house number on this house. The first thing we need to do is go over to the shape pane and click the arrow. And you will see that open up and there are some shapes that are available to you. Of course, your basic shapes that we've been working with, but there's also text, symbols, connectors, and extras. We're going to go to text. Now, we talked about putting a house number on the house, so what we see here are letters. So let's scroll down and explore what's available to us. I see every letter in the English alphabet. And then as I scroll down, I see some numbers. So I'm just going to make up a number. We're going to pretend that our house uh, number is 567. So the first thing I need to do is pull over a 5, a 6, and a 7, and drop them out of my work plane. I'm a little too close here. I'm going to actually close this. and. I'm going to tilt up so I can see my numbers. Now, as you can see, the first problem is our numbers are huge in comparison to our house. The second problem is our numbers are lying flat on the work plane. So we're going to have to resize, and we're going to have to align the numbers, and then we're going to have to rotate them up. So first of all, let's get these numbers aligned by using our Align tool. I'm going to click. Shift, click, and click. To select all of my numbers, and then I'm going to come up and go to my Align tool. And by clicking that center alignment, that is going to get all of our numbers together. Now, you might think, oh, if I click this center, it'll put all of them together nicely, but uh, as you can see that put them all on top of each other. We don't want that. So let's go up and hit our undo button. So I might have to move my seven over a little bit this way. Now you might have noticed as you were playing around that, that sometimes we move things and we inadvertently move them ways we didn't want to. So I want to show you a tool we haven't explored yet, which is our arrow keys on the keyboard of your computer. If you have an object selected, you can use those arrow keys to move things sideways, up, and back. So let's put that 7 near my 5 and my 6, and now let's rotate, make sure they're all on the same plane. And we can always make sure that they're all together by clicking here and making sure they're all at zero by using our black arrow that's a 
above. Okay, so now I know they are all sitting on the same plane. Let's turn our work plane and see how they look. You know what? These are just a little too close to that house for me to work with. So I'm going to click, shift, click, click. I'm going to move them over so they're a little bit easier for me to see and work with. I'm not 100% sure I've got these correctly aligned. So once again, I'm going to shift, click, click, and I'm going to use that align tool one more time to make sure that they are exactly where I want them. Very nice. Now I want to work with these numbers as a group, so it makes sense for me to select them all. So once again, I could click, shift, click, shift, click, or I could simply click and drag, and I am going to group them into one object. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is resize this and open it up. Now I want these to resize and stay looking like numbers. I don't want to accidentally pull them like that. Uh-oh, remember I can use my undo button. So I can hold down my shift key, click on one of the white corner handles, and make my object much smaller. Let's zoom in on it. This is useful. I can work my work plane over by holding down the shift key while I use my two finger click on my trackpad. And I can move that over. And now let's zoom in a little bit. All right, that looks good. Now, what I'm gonna have to do is rotate this up. So when I have it selected, I'm gonna look for these rotations. This is not going to rotate my numbers the way I want them rotating. I don't want them rotating this way. I need to bring them up towards me. So I don't see that arrow. So once again, I'm going to manipulate my work plane. And I'm going to change how I'm looking at my object. Now you can see I have a rotation arrow that is going to let me put my numbers up on their edge. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to take my numbers and rotate them. And now I have numbers that I'm going to be able to put on my house. Something interesting for you to look at is if you look at this once we rotated it, it's actually sticking through our work plane. That doesn't matter because we're going to lift it up. I'm going to scroll out and now I'm going to select. Uh oh, that's way too close. And I'm going to pull them up. I'm going to put them over here where it looks like they're aligned with my house. And I'm going to pull them up to the top. All right, they look like they're on my house, but I can't be sure until I, oh, turn it around. And as you can see, they are not quite on my house. Whoops. Pull them down a little bit. Now let's try using that arrow key. And Ta-da! I've put a house number on my house. Why don't you try putting a house number on your house or decorate it with some shutters or some flowers? Try something to put an object on your house to decorate it. Good luck!